the long raindrop stitch creates elongated vertical lines resembling a rainy downpour. We have a short one color long raindrops cowl. I'm also sharing my trick to create colorful stripes. Here's the long version doubled up to make a cozy infinity scarf. This project is an easy knit and purl. We're knitting it in the round on circular needles and the texture is totally reversible. So it looks identical on both the right and the wrong sides of your work. For our knitting supplies, we're using bulky weight yarn number five, circular needles number 10 US. Depending on the size cowl, it's either 24 or 36 inches in length, as well as scissors and a tapestry needle. So let's take a look at how easy this is to knit up using the short one color version. Step one, casting on our stitches. For the short version, we're casting on 84 stitches onto our circular needle. And for my longer version, I'm casting on 210 stitches. I like to add a little stitch marker. I typically just take a scrap of yarn and tie it into a slip knot. If you're inspired to knit up this long raindrops cowl, please like up this video. It lets me know you'd like to see more easy knitting projects like this. All of the written instructions are available totally for free on my website, Studio Knit. I also have an ad-free printable PDF over in my Studio Knit shop available for purchase. And some of you may recognize this long raindrops texture. It is from my Knit Stitch pattern book here on page 34. And interestingly, whether you knit it flat or in the round, the knitting instructions for this stitch pattern totally identical. Okay, step two, we are knitting the body of our cowl in the long raindrop stitch pattern. Rows one, two, three, and four, we're knitting one and purling one. So you see in between the asterisks, those little stars, K1, P1, that means knit one and purl one, repeating between those asterisks. So it's knit one, you bring your yarn to the front, to purl one and you continue this pattern all the way around the needle. And here's how it looks after we knit one row. We're going to continue this exact same pattern for three more rows, rows one, two, three, and four, K1, P1. And you'll see, starting out, this is the one by one rib stitch. But here on rows five through eight, we're switching things up a little bit, which creates the long raindrops texture. And we are beginning by purling one and then knitting one. So it's P1, K1 to create those alternating elongated rib stitches. And then just repeat rows one through eight until your cowl is the height that you desire. Here in this one color short cowl version, I am knitting eight repeats. And we can take a peek and see that when we knit in one color, it is totally reversible. The other side looks identical. So no matter how you're fashioning your cowl, you'll always see the texture. If you'd like to mix things up and add some colorful stripes, let me show you my trick. You'll be knitting rows one through eight the exact same way but in between rows one through eight, we're adding one row of just the knit stitch. We're knitting all the way around for one row. And this allows us not to have those pearl dash lines on the right side of our work. So it looks nice and smooth. You can't even tell that we're adding that additional row. On the wrong side of the work, you do see those pearl dash lines. So if you are knitting in two or more colors, this isn't technically reversible because on the other side, you will see those pearl dash lines, but the texture is the same. And for the long infinity scarf, I'm knitting it with only four repeats of the long raindrops texture. I find that because we're doubling it up, it's nice to have it not be too wide and it's just nice and cozy. As you can see, this is a very simple design. So you can get really creative with your sizes and yarn colors. For step three, we're finishing up by binding off, casting off our stitches. And I'm just using the basic bind off that I use for most of my projects. You could 
bind off and pattern if you'd like, but this is a nice quick knit, simple pattern. So I'm just keeping it easy and you can see it looks great. And then finishing it up, you'll cut your yarn, use your tapestry needle to weave in all the yarn ends, cut your yarn one last time and you are done. This texture is extra thick and a little bit stretchy. Make sure to check out all of my easy scarf patterns. I have one right here for you to watch next and I will see you there. Mm -hmm.